Breton Brezonig BZO tilde NK listen or BRO tilde neck in Morbihan is a southwestern Brittonic Celtic language spoken in Brittany. Breton was brought from Great Britain to Armorica by migrating Britons during the early Middle Ages. It is thus an insular Celtic language and as such not closely related to the continental Celtic Gaulish language which had been spoken in pre-Roman Gaul. Breton is most closely related to Cornish, both being southwestern Brittonic languages. Welsh and the extinct Cumbric are the more distantly related Western Brittonic languages. Due to pressure from French, Breton phonology is closer to that of French than to its relatives in Britain. The other regional language of Brittany, Gallo, is a long d'oil. Gallo is consequently close to French, although not mutually intelligible, and a Romance language descended from Latin unlike the similarly named ancient Celtic language Gaulish. Having declined from more than 1 million speakers around 1950 to about 200,000 in the first decade of the 21st century, Breton is classified as severely endangered by the UNESCO Atlas of the World's Languages in Danger. However, the number of children attending bilingual classes has risen 33% between 2006 and 2012 to 14,709. History and status Breton is spoken in Lower Brittany Breton, Bryce Isle, roughly to the west of a line linking Pluha west of Saint -Briuc and La Roche-Bernard east of Vannes. It comes from a Brittonic language community that once extended from Great Britain to Armorica present-day Brittany and had even established a toehold in Galicia in present-day Spain. Old Breton is attested from the 9th century. It was the language of the upper classes until the 12th century, after which it became the language of commoners in Lower Brittany. The nobility, followed by the bourgeoisie, adopted French. The written language of the Duchy of Brittany was Latin, switching to French in the 15th century. There exists a limited tradition of Breton literature. Some Old Breton vocabulary remains in the present day as philosophical and scientific terms in modern Breton. The recognized stages of the Breton language are, Old Breton, C.800 to C.1100, Middle Breton, C.1100 to C.1650, Modern Breton, C.1650 to present. The French monarchy was not concerned with the minority languages of France spoken by the lower classes, and required the use of French for government business as part of its policy of national unity. During the French Revolution, the government introduced policies favoring French over the regional languages, which it pejoratively referred to as patois. The revolutionaries assumed that reactionary and monarchist forces preferred regional languages to try to keep the peasant masses underinformed. In 1794, Bertrand Barrieri submitted his Report on the Patois to the Committee of Public Safety in which he said that Federalism and superstition speak Breton. Since the 19th century, under the Third, Fourth and Fifth Republics, the government has attempted to stamp out minority languages, including Breton, in state schools, in an effort to build a national culture. Teachers humiliated students for using their regional languages, and such practices prevailed until the late 1960s. In the early 21st century, due to the political centralization of France, the influence of the media, and the increasing mobility of people, only about 200,000 people can speak Breton, a dramatic decline from more than a million in 1950. The majority of today's speakers are more than 60 years old, and Breton is now classified as an endangered language. At the beginning of the 20th century, half of the population of Lower Brittany knew only Breton, the other half were bilingual. By 1950, there were only 100,000 monolingual Bretons, and this rapid decline has continued, with likely no monolingual speakers left today. A statistical survey in 1997 found around 300,000 speakers in Lower Brittany, of whom about 190,000 were aged 60 or older. Few 15 to 19 year olds spoke Breton. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Revival efforts. In 1925, Professor Ropars Hemon founded the Breton language review Gwalern. During its 19-year run, Gwalern tried to raise the language to the level of a great international language. Its publication encouraged the creation of original literature in all genres, and proposed Breton translations of internationally recognized foreign works. In 1946, Al-Liam replaced Gwalern. 
Other Breton language periodicals have been published, which established a fairly large body of literature for a minority language. In 1977, Dewan schools were founded to teach Breton by immersion. They taught a few thousand young people from elementary school to high school. See the education section for more information. The Asterix comic series has been translated into Breton. According to the comic, the Gaulish village where Asterix lives is in the Armorica Peninsula, which is now Brittany. Some other popular comics have also been translated into Breton, including The Adventures of Tintin, Spyro, Tytuf, Hagar the Horrible, Peanuts and Yakari. Some original media are created in Breton. The sitcom, Ken Touch, is in Breton. Radio Kern, broadcasting from Finister, has exclusively Breton programming. Some movies Lancelot du Lac, Shakespeare in Love, Marion du Feuillet, Cesneg and TV series Columbo, Perry Mason have also been translated and broadcast in Breton. Poets, singers, linguists, and writers who have written in Breton, including Jan Ber Kalloch, Ropars Hemon, Angela Duval, Xavier de Linglay, Per Jakes Helias, Ewan Gwernig, Glenmore and Alan Stivell are now known internationally. Today, Breton is the only living Celtic language that is not recognized by a national government as an official or regional language. The first Breton dictionary, the Catholicon, was also the first French dictionary. Edited by Jahan Lagadec in 1464, it was a trilingual work containing Breton, French and Latin. Today bilingual dictionaries have been published for Breton and languages including English, Dutch, German, Spanish and Welsh. A new generation is determined to gain international recognition for Breton. The monolingual dictionary, Geriatr Brezonig and Here defines Breton words in Breton. The first edition contained about 10,000 words, and the second edition of 2001 contains 20,000 words. In the early 21st century, the OFI's R. Brezonig, Office of the Breton Language, began a campaign to encourage daily use of Breton in the region by both businesses and local communes. Efforts include installing bilingual signs and posters for regional events, as well as encouraging the use of the Spilhenig to let speakers identify each other. The office also started an internationalization and localization policy asking Google, Firefox and SPIP to develop their interfaces in Breton. In 2004, the Breton Wikipedia started, which now counts more than 65,000 articles. In March 2007, the OFI's R. Brezonig signed a tripartite agreement with Regional Council of Brittany and Microsoft for the consideration of the Breton language in Microsoft products. In October 2014, Facebook added Breton as one of its 121 languages, after three years of talks between the OFIs and Facebook. <laughs> Geographic distribution and dialects Breton is spoken mainly in Lower Brittany, but also in a more dispersed way in Upper Brittany where Gallo is spoken alongside Breton and French, and in areas around the world that have Breton emigrants. The four traditional dialects of Breton correspond to medieval bishoprics rather than to linguistic divisions. They are Leoneg Leonard, of the county of Léon, Tregerig Tregorwa, of Tregor, Kernavege Cornouaille, of Cornouai, and Gwenadeg Vanite, of Vans. Garande was spoken up to the beginning of the 20th century in the region of Garande and Bat sur Mer. There are no clear boundaries between the dialects because they form a dialect continuum, varying only slightly from one village to the next. Gwenadeg, however, is almost mutually unintelligible with most of the other dialects. <laughs> <laughs> Official status Topic. Nation As noted, only French is an official language of France. Supporters of Breton and other minority languages continue to argue for their recognition, education in public schools and place in public life. Topic. Constitution In July 2008, the legislature amended the French constitution, adding Article 75-1, Les langues régionales appartiennent au patrimoine de la France the regional languages belong to the heritage of France. 
The European Charter for Regional or Minority Languages, which obliges signatory states to recognize minority and regional languages, was signed by France in 1999 but has not been ratified. On 27 October 2015, the Senate rejected a draft constitutional law ratifying the Charter. Region Regional and departmental authorities use Breton to a very limited extent, for example in signage. Some bilingual signage has also been installed, such as street name signs in Breton towns. One station of the Rennes metro system has signs in both French and Breton. Under the French law known as Toubon, it is illegal for commercial signage to be in Breton alone. Signs must be bilingual or French only. Since commercial signage usually has limited physical space, most businesses have signs only in French. OFI's Public R. Brezonig, the Breton Language Agency, was set up in 1999 by the Brittany region to promote and develop the daily use of Breton. It created the Yadar Brezonig campaign to encourage enterprises, organizations, and communes to promote the use of Breton, for example, by installing bilingual signage or translating their websites into Breton. Education In the late 20th century, the French government considered incorporating the independent Breton language immersion schools called Dewan into the state education system. This action was blocked by the French Constitutional Council based on the 1994 amendment to the Constitution that establishes French as the language of the Republic. Therefore, no other language may be used as a language of instruction in state schools. The Toubon Law implemented the amendment, asserting that French is the language of public education. The Dewan schools were founded in Brittany in 1977 to teach Breton by immersion. They taught a few thousand young people from elementary school to high school. They have gained fame owing to their high level of results in school exams. Breton language schools do not receive funding from the national government, though the Brittany region may fund them. Another teaching method is a bilingual approach by DIVES. Two languages in the state schools, created in 1979. Dihun, Awakening, was created in 1990 for bilingual education in the Catholic schools. Statistics <laughs> 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 In 2018, 18,337 pupils, about 2.00% of all pupils in Brittany, attended Dewan, Divs, and Dihun schools. Their number has increased yearly. Jean Yves Le Drian, the president of the regional council, had a goal of 20,000 pupils by 2010, but is encouraged by their progress. In 2007, some 4,500 to 5,000 adults followed a Breton language course, such as evening course, correspondence, or other. The family transmission of Breton in 1999 is estimated to be 3%. <inaudible> <inaudible> municipalities <inaudible> Other forms of education In addition to bilingual education including Breton medium education the region has introduced the Breton language in primary education, mainly in the Department of Finister. These initiation sessions are generally one to three hours per week, and consist of songs and games. Schools in secondary education colleges and lycées offer some courses in Breton. In 2010, nearly 5,000 students in Brittany were reported to be taking this option. Additionally, the University of Rennes II has a Breton language department offering courses in the language along with a master's degree in Breton and Celtic studies. Phonology Vowels Vowels in Breton may be short or long. All unstressed vowels are short, stressed vowels can be short or long vowel lengths are not noted in usual orthographies as they are implicit in the phonology of particular dialects, and not all dialects pronounce stressed vowels as long. 
All vowels can also be nasalized, which is noted by appending an and letter after the base vowel, or by adding a combining tilde above the vowel most commonly and easily done for a and o due to the Portuguese letters, or more commonly by non-ambiguously appending an n tilde letter after the base vowel this depends on the orthographic variant. Diphthongs are i, a. Topic. Consonants Pronunciation of the letter R varies nowadays, is used in the French-influenced standard language and, generally speaking, in the central parts of Lower Brittany including the south of Tregor, the west of Vanité and virtually all parts of Cornouaille whereas R is the common realization in Léon and often in the hot Vanité dialect of central Morbihan in and around the city of Vannes and the Pays de Pontivy, though in rapid speech mostly a tapped occurs. In the other regions of Tregor, or even may be found. The voiced dental fricative is a conservative realization of the lenition or the spirant mutation in cases where the phenomenon originates from the mutation of t tilde theta, respectively, of the consonants d and t, which is to be found in certain varieties of hot vanite. Most of the Breton dialects do not inherit the sound and thus it is mostly not orthographically fixed. The Purunvan, for instance, uses Z for both mutations which is regularly and more prominently pronounced Z in Léonais, Cornouaillais, Trégorois and Ba Vanité. In traditional literature written in the Vanité dialect, two different graphemes are employed for representing the dental fricative, depending on the scripture's historical period. There once was a time when D was used to transcribe the sound but today mostly the regular Z is instead used, and this practice can be traced back to at least the end of the 17th century. The area this phenomenon has been found to be evident in, encompasses the towns of Pontivy and Bou and surrounding smaller villages like Clegaric, Noyal Pontivy, Plumeliao, St. Aluestra, St. Barthélemy, Pluviner and also parts of Belle-Île. The only known place where the mutation occurs outside of the Vans country is the Île de Seine, an island located off Finister's coast. Some scholars also used Z as the symbol for the sound to indicate that it was rather an infradental consonant than a clear interdental, which is the sound the symbol is usually describes. Other linguists, however, did not draw that distinction, either because they identified the sound to actually be an interdental fricative such as Ropars Hemon in his phonetic transcription of the dialect used in Plumeliao or Joseph Loth in his material about the dialect of Sazen in Belle-Ile or due to the fact that they merely attached any importance to it and ascertained that their descriptions were not in need of a further clarification of the sound's phonetic realization as it was a clearly distinguishable phoneme. Grammar Verbal aspect As in English as well as the other Celtic languages, a variety of verbal constructions are available to express grammatical aspect, for example, showing a distinction between progressive and habitual actions. Inflected prepositions. As in other modern Celtic languages, Breton pronouns are fused into preceding prepositions to produce a sort of conjugated preposition. Below are some examples in Breton, Cornish, Welsh, Irish, Scottish Gaelic, and Manx, along with English translations. Note that in the examples above the Goidelic languages Irish, Scottish Gaelic and Manx use the preposition meaning it to show possession, whereas the Britonic languages use with. The Goidelic languages, however, do use the preposition with to express, belong to. Irish is Liam and Liebhar, Scottish is Liam and Liebhar, Manx Sliams y and Lior, the book belongs to me. Note also that the above examples of Welsh are the formal written language. The order and preposition may differ slightly in colloquial Welsh formal may car genim, North Wales may ginnan ni gar, South Wales may car gida ni. Initial consonant mutations Breton has four initial consonant mutations, though modern Breton lost the nasal mutation of Welsh, it also has a hard mutation, in which voiced stops become voiceless, and a mixed mutation, which is a mixture of hard and soft mutations. Vocabulary <inaudible> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Words that passed into French and into English. The English words dolmen and menhir have been borrowed from French, which took them from Breton. However, this is uncertain. For instance, menhir is pulvan or main here, long stone, main save, straight stone. Two words, noun plus adjective in Breton. Dolmen is a misconstructed word. It should be taolvaen. Some studies state that these words were borrowed from Cornish. Main here can be directly translated from Welsh as long stone, which is exactly what a menhir or main here is. The Cornish surnames Menhir, Minir, and Manhir are all derived from the Cornish men hyr, long stone, as does Tremenhir, settlement by the long stone. The French word barajouiner, to jabber in a foreign language, is derived from Breton bara, bread, and gwin, wine. The French word goland, large seagull, is derived from Breton gwalan, which shares the same root as English, gull. Welsh Gwylan, Cornish Goelan. Topic: Orthography. The first extant Breton texts contained in the Laid manuscript were written at the end of the 8th century, 50 years prior to the Strasbourg Oaths, considered to be the earliest example of French. Like many medieval orthographies, Old and Middle Breton orthography was at first not standardized, and the spelling of a particular word varied at author's discretion. In 1499, however, the Catholicon, was published, as the first dictionary written for both French and Breton, it became a point of reference on how to transcribe the language. The orthography presented in the Catholicon was largely similar to that of French, in particular with respect to the representation of vowels, as well as the use of both the Latinate digraph cu, a remnant of the sound change k, greater than, k, in Latin, and Britonic su or cu to represent, k, before front vowels. As phonetic and phonological differences between the dialects began to magnify, many regions, particularly the Vans country, began to devise their own orthographies. Many of these orthographies were more closely related to the French model, albeit with some modifications. Examples of these modifications include the replacement of Old Breton Z with H to denote word final, X tilde H, an evolution of Old Breton theta, in the Vans dialect and use of H to denote the initial mutation of K. Today this mutation is written C, and thus needed another transcription. In the 1830s Jean-François Lagonadec created a modern phonetic system for the language. During the early years of the 20th century, a group of writers known as Mglev R. Scrivenerian elaborated and reformed Lagonadec's system. They made it more suitable as a super-dialectal representation of the dialects of Cornouai, Leon and Tregor known as from Kernev, Leon and Trigor in Breton. This KLT orthography was established in 1911. At the same time writers of the more divergent Vanité dialect developed a phonetic system also based on that of Lagonadec. Following proposals made during the 1920s, the KLT and Vanité orthographies were merged in 1941 to create an orthographic system to represent all four dialects. This Purunvan, wholly unified, orthography was significant for the inclusion of the ZH digraph, which represents A, H, in Vanité and corresponds to A, Z, in the KLT dialects. In 1955 François Falsihun and the group E. M. Glio Bryce proposed a new orthography. It was designed to use a set of graphemes closer to the conventions of French. This orthography universitaire, university orthography, known in Breton as Scolvurig, was given official recognition by the French authorities as the official orthography of Breton in French education. It was opposed in the region and today is used only by the magazine Brud Neves and the publishing house Mgleo Brise. Between 1971 and 1974, a new standard orthography was devised, the Etteranyeshal or Interdialectale. This system is based on the derivation of the words, today the majority of writers continue to use the Purunvan orthography, and it is the version taught in most Breton language schools. Due to the deficient suitableness of those standardized, interdialectal orthography for many dialects especially the Vans dialect they are seen as a threat by some activists, rather than as a helping tool for promoting and spreading the language because it endangers the rich variety of the still living dialects and encourages the usage of a de facto non-existent artificial language. Alphabet 
Breton is written in the Latin script. Purunvin, the most commonly used orthography, consists of the following letters a, b, c, h, c, d, e, f, g, h, i, j, k, l, m, n, o, p, r, s, t, u, v, w, y, z, t, h, e circumflex, grave accent, trema and tilde appear on some letters. These diacritics are used in the following way a, e, i, o, u, 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 ni, c, v, introduction to Breton, Breton pronunciation for an introduction to the Breton alphabet and pronunciation. Topic. Differences between Skolvurig and Purunvin Both orthographies use the above alphabet, although A is used only in Skolvurig. Differences between the two systems are particularly noticeable in word endings. In Purunvin, final obstruents, which are devoiced in absolute final position and voiced in sandy before voiced sounds, are represented by a grapheme that indicates a voiceless sound. In OU they are written as voiced but represented as voiceless before suffixes, bras, big, brasso c, bigger. In addition, Purunvin maintains the KLT convention, which distinguishes noun-adjective pairs by nouns written with a final voiced consonant and adjectives with a voiceless one. No distinction is made in pronunciation, e.g. Brezonic Breton language versus Brezonic Breton adj. Some examples of words in the different orthographies. Topic. Pronunciation of the Breton alphabet Notes Carat vocative particle, of rage o Brittany. Carat word initially. Carat word finally. Carat non written lenition of ch, c, f, s, and spirantization of p greater than f. Carat unstressed vowels e, e, u, o are pronounced o in Leoneg but e, o, o in the other dialects. The pronunciation, appears mainly in front of clusters lc, rc less often also before c, before semivowels j, w, before other clusters beginning with r, l and before rr. Stressed long e, e, u, o are realized as e, o stroke, o. Carat in Gwenedeg velars or labialized velars are palatalized when followed by e and i, k, g, k, w, ko, c, kaho, g, w, go, with o, s, k to c, c, h, s, c, c. Instead of c, also t, d may appear. Carat in Gwenedeg word final g and k is palatalized to c after preceding i. Carat but before a vowel other than i the digraph ni is written instead of gn, e.g. blenian to drive, radical blegn, 1 ps preterite blegnus, 3 ps preterite blenius. Carat but mute in words such as ha, g, he, c, ho, c, hal, hun, hor, hol. Silent in Gwenedeg and Leoneg. Carat i is realized as j when it precedes or follows a vowel or when between vowels, but in words such as lean, liorge, rakdiases and the letter i is pronounced as i in orthography i may be used, lean, liorge, rakdiasesan. Carat group i l h is pronounced when it follows an vowel, following a consonant the group is pronounced i. But before a vowel other than i li is written instead of i l h, e.g. hulian to follow, radical hui, 1 ps preterite helhas, 3 ps preterite hulias. In some regions instead of may appear pronunciation j. Carat word finally following a cluster of unvoiced consonants. Carat in front of k, g. Carat the digraph o is realized same as the letter w when preceded or followed by a vowel or when between vowels, but in words such as due, doer, goorn the digraph o is pronounced u. Carat the digraph o marks plural ending. Its pronunciation varies throughout Brittany, u, o, o, ow, a, a, rating geographically from northwest Leon to southeast Gwen. Carat the letter v is usually pronounced v, but word finally except word final nevi is pronounced usually as w or in klt, as in Gwenedeg and as f in golo. The pronunciation v is retained word finally in verbs. In words bliv, gwiskriv, gwiv, liv, piv, riv or v is pronounced u in klt, in gwenedeg and f in golo. Word finally following r, l, n, z it is pronounced o. 
Carrot but mute in words such as guez, blows, goaz, rujan, klies, rakdiazizan, bezin, rozan, dezin, koezin, z, az, ez, das, guariones, enep, g, wireones, manes, false ones, carantes, kengarantes, neves, neviscanet, nadozio, aberdaez, gwez, bemdas, kris, blies, morfles, desi, z is generally mute in kern weg, trigarig and guenadeg, but in leoneg z h is always pronounced. Carrot used to distinguish words stir river, her air, ker town, written also car, from stir sense, her bold, ker deer. Carrot used to distinguish trode circuit, tour from trode foot. Carrot in northern dialects, mainly in Leoneg, there is a tendency to voice c between vowels. Pronunciation appears also in forms of lenition of g, c, and mixed mutation of g. Carat the lenition of D and the spirantization of T is also transcribed as Z and is most prominently pronounced Z although in certain regions also S for T, particularly in Cornuai and in some hot vanite varieties, see note 31 occur. Carat pronunciation of R varies in Brittany, nowadays uvular or is a standard, in Leoneg R is pronounced R in Trigarig or in Kernavej and are most common in Gwenadeg R occur. Carrot in Gwenadeg unstressed e often. Carrot lenited varieties of r, l, n may appear word initially in case of soft mutation. Carrot in Leoneg u in front of a nasal. Carrot in Leoneg w in front of e, i, v. Carrot in Leoneg z h in front of i, or. Carrot in Leoneg g w r r. Carrot before a vowel. Carrot forms of the indefinite article. Carat a conservative realization of the initial mutation of D and T, used in certain parts of the Vans country. Examples Lord's Prayer Hun Tad Siwi Haga Zo N Nen Ra vo santalet hoc anv. Ra zuio ho roantalesh. Ra vo grat ho yule war and doer evil en nen. Roit dimp hijiv bara hor bevenis. Distaolit dimp hun de lo. Evil mahor bo ivas distole de hondalorion. Hanahan lezit ket da vant gant and temptator. Met hun dubit eus and drog. Topic. Words and phrases in Breton Visitors to Brittany may encounter words and phrases especially on signs and posters such as the following. Topic. Language comparison Topic. See also Armoricani Gaelic Revival, Irish Language Revival Julian Manuar, 17th century Breton language orthographer List of Celtic language media Storm R. Brezonigan Association promoting the language <laughs>